invested, um, for the, well, we have used our alpha technology in that case with a four dimensional outer focus that focuses on the object, in this case the little parrot, and keeps the focus locked on the movement and of the object while it's moving towards us. And we know that compellers had already similar functionality um, in, the, in the past, but they have the problem that they lock the focus in one place. For example, where the parrot is right now, they lock the focus on there, the object moves, and the focus does not move with the object. It means that you will have blurry pictures and pictures that are not in focus. So, what we can sh show you, I will show you, I will start the volume again of the device so you can hear the shutter sound. Um, that when I press the button and hold the button pressed, that we will then have the burst functionality. So we start now. It's had a good day, it's stuck. <laughs> I Sorry. think it's literally fine. Um, so you can see then, uh, we have in the gallery the, the burst shot. All burst shots are 19 megapixel, full resolution, really, really important. And then we select one randomly and pinch the menu. You see that the little guy here is fully in focus. You can then select pictures that are a little bit closer, right? you can see here, so, and then check one. Check this one out, pinch zoom in again, and here our little friend is fully in focus as well. We can take a series of up to 100 images, um, full 19 megapixel, of course, and again, save a few, delete a few as we wish, and then reuse them for printing, etc.